What words come to mind when you hear the word Bradford? For most people it's grim, horrible, I couldn't live there. Now Bradford's had this perception for quite a while. I don't know whether the people saying it are just jumping on the bandwagon if they've ever been to Bradford before or if they used to live there and haven't been back in 10 years. So I thought I'd come down myself, see what's kicking off, go down some back streets, right into the town centre, let's go check it out. Some lovely historical architecture. About two minutes from the centre that as well. Needs a repaint at least. He's not happy. We've got the Science and Industry Museum behind me, which is always a good way to kill a couple of hours. Quite interesting that, it's also got an IMAX, so I'm guessing museum historical films in IMAX, good quality, so we've also got a nice building coming up here, which is a theatre. Looks like some nice architecture, so let's have a look at it. Nice theatre that, looks quite good, don't mind a good show. Carries on round the side of here, the pit bar, have a beer whilst you're waiting for your show or mid interval. Some pretty grim buildings behind me but you get them everywhere. I'll tell you what you don't get everywhere which is nice to see. Brewdog, right next to it. Beer killer. Drinking scene looks alright around Bradford. University there. So far so good. At the minute I'm not getting those Bradford grim vibes to be fair. It seems quite half decent to be honest with you. Kind of keep walking into the sound centre anyway. See if it gets any more grimmer as it's supposed to be but not too bad at the minute. Now, I've just been online and apparently there's a bar that used to be a bunker for air raid shelters in World War II and before that a prison and now it's a bar. It's got cocktail bars in it. Also it's got a few shops in it so that sounds good even for anywhere. I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> got fountains here, a bit like the Bellagio in Las Vegas. Pretty sick. So I'm in the centre now, town hall's in front of me, I'm guessing it's town hall. It's alright to be fair, let's keep wandering. Lead with passion and compassion, wise words of Bradford. I don't know what that building is behind me, I thought it was a town hall. Um, don't know what it is. But well, it's good anyway, it's half decent. So walking down the shopping places right now, see what shops has got to offer. See if there's any little hidden gems behind some back streets. This back street's looking alright, it's a bit of architecture, a bit of uh, nice building works. I think the Bradford people talk about. I'm not really being funny but I'm struggling to find all these grim areas. Now I know I'm in the centre and the outskirts of anywhere can be grim. Maybe that's what these people are talking about when they say Bradford's horrible and you won't live there. But the centre is just like a normal centre. It's even got some nice architecture. Some quirky little bars around. And you haven't even got to the one that used to be a bunker in prison yet. So, decent. Looks alright. So this Sunbridge Wells is the bar that's underground that used to be a bunker in World War II and a prison. Sign here for what's included inside. 
keg, gym bar, bears den, pizzeria. So I'm guessing it's got to be all underground here. It was there. I'm gonna go in the proper entrance anyway. I was struggling finding this place, it's a bit of a maze. Hopefully it's just around the corner here. Nah, no idea where it is. Gotta skip the phone out and have a look. Right, got an issue with the bar. It's shut on a Monday. Which is uh, quite infuriating. So the website says seven days a week. And I hate stuff like that. People are late and people aren't open when it should be. So I will have a walk around, try and cheer myself up a bit. Midland Hotel. Hotel looks alright to be fair. Well built, nice and old. But I might be rubbish on TripAdvisor, it's probably one of the worst hotels in Bradford, but from the outside, looks alright. Average shopping centre. It's got what you want in here. Shops. Super dry. JD. And even a Krispy Kreme if you want a donut to cheer you up afterwards. Bradford. Don't know what they're on about. It's a normal town or city. As I just found out on Google. It's quite big. It's a normal, normal town. It's got some quirky stuff there. Nice bars. Good buildings. Quite old. It's alright. I mean the outskirts might be grim. But... The centre's nice. So, yeah, that's Bradford. Missed out quite a bit of it, but I can't be bothered sticking around. Got places to be back home, videos to edit. So the next one will probably be in the countryside. Don't know where. We're probably around here. Lake District, Peak District, probably Peak District. Lake District, last day over. Bit expensive, innit? With all these uh, gas prices going up, stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.